All right, we're turning this on. Okay. This is the one that he's going with today. It's sustainable tuna. He gets one of it. Just like that. Now, sorry. I used to do a lot of scene work in my uh, boxer underwear whenever I started off Texas Wesleyan University doing theater. Stuff like romantic comedy. The other one was, uh, what was the other underwear scene? Oh, yeah. Uh, Red Cross by Sam Shepard. Hey, don't do that. I said Sam Shepard. This is Sam Shepard incarnate. That's what I should have named Kitty was Sam Shepard. Sam Shepard? That's his nickname. His nickname is Sam Shepard. He also goes by uh, Edmund Tuxedo. Oh, look what he's doing. Edmund Tuxedo. Scratchy Cassavetes. Just because I was making a movie, but he's really secretly Sam Shepard. Incarnate. He just got fat, a little bit fat. The Sam Shepard kitty would be skinny. That's right. And have ALS and alcohol problems. We got to find him uh, something right here. Now, Sam Shepard wrote True West, which is a great little thing. Philip Seymour Hoffman did it before he died with Ron John C. Riley. I played... Lee in True West. Act 1, Scene 1 on Darnell Street that's now Modern Art Museum. I was Lee. My friend Rob Vasquez my friend Rob Vasquez was Austin. We didn't have a Sam Schock. He was still alive at the time. I met Sam Schock later. He was at the Actor Studio Drama School at the New School University. I always talk about that. I met him later. He worked with uh, Gary Sinise and John Malkovich in True West. Still don't have one of those things. Sustainable tuna. Dun 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 waiting on the man dan 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 waiting on the kitty dan 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 got twenty-six sustainable tunas in my hand dan dan there we go. Try it out kitty. We're called the amateurs now. Here, move it this way. But we might even call the professionals. We just got to find our CBGB. So CBGB is closed down. It could have been Joe's Garage, but Joe's Garage, Joe's Garage has been closed forever. They they started Hip Pocket, and they also started a band called Pantera. I used to go to Joe's Garage to see Suicidey. It was a band that I thought was going to make it. They broke up, and then my my friend had a band named Futnut. I only had a band once called Nine Minutes to Live, and we only lasted two rehearsals. Then I went solo. We were trying to sound like REM. All right, Kitty, it's good. Here we go. Anyway, love y'all. This is Kitty. I guess his nickname is Kitty. There is a character called Kitty that I'm writing about. She's in A Cat Named Crook, which we're going to try to do next year. I'd play Hopper Head. She's going to play Kitty. i got to find a bird. Could be anybody. And I already found a Rob the Runner. So I'm only looking for a bird. It's basically a vlogger. That's what the character is. He catches Hopper Head. Later, after Rob the Runner gets hurt trying to lift someone's phone, smartphone, that's what he does for a living, and then Hopper Head refurbishes him, he decides to change his life. And Rob the Runner finds a church, and Hopper Head gets redeemed. Then the bird teaches Hopper Head how to vlog. And then Hopper Head 
has a great channel and is redeemed. That's the whole plot. But there's a little bit of mixture, a little bit of Lynchian stuff in there too. No severed ear. I was thinking about maybe a, something like something severed. But then I thought, no, I won't rip them off. So we'll just leave all the parts there. But Lynch used that in Blue Velvet. And the reason why is because he's making a, a comment about the church. You use the ear for things. It's an important part of the body. The ear needs the nose. The nose needs the mouth. I mean the mouth. Sorry, not the mouth. The nose needs the nose needs the mouth. The mouth need, needs stop. Let's stop. This is hard. The ear needs the nose. The nose needs the mouth. The mouth needs the eyes. The church has fingers. And the church has shoulders. The, sh the church has necks and body parts, and they work together in unison. So everyone has a different part to play. Anyway, there's four parts and a cat named Crook. We'll be doing that next year. We're gonna attempt another feature. The last big feature attempt was called, uh, Lin, uh, it was with Linda, it was called Lynn Driver. These are how many I've attempted. Bull, which is still only in dailies. Eventually I did Once in a Lifetime, was, which is completed. Four, three sh shorts. Uh, one of them is called uh, Now Until Morning, The Way of Man, and that side. Those are three shorts. They're finished. The projectionist, the projectionist, I attempted. We even have some of the dailies. Lynn Driver is pretty much completed. I have to finish the mechanic scene, and that would be pretty much finished. It's about a 45 minute one. It's post apocalyptic, it's black and white noir. The next one will be a cat named Crook. One of these days, we'll finish one. All right. Y'all have a good night. Saving on energy. You can hear a kitty kind of purring. Here he goes. Waiting for the kitty. Dun, 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 dun. Got 26 substantial tunas in my hand. Dun, dun. It's all about kitty. All right. Remember when I used to do this in the Carrollton place? And I would just go like that. And have kind of music playing. Good night. Right. It's a, a person that likes burritos.